So today I want to talk about three-dimensional references or 3D references in Excel because I'm looking at this entire data table which has many many fields and I want to fill it in with totals from this spreadsheet from each of the tabs. So I have look how many tabs I have and these are all ugly and all nasty and I don't really like any of them uh, but they are all in the exact same format so they're all following a template. So what I've done is to make things a little bit more clear I've taken this spreadsheet which was, was initially named these zeros this series and I've renamed it start and I've gone all the way to the very end and renamed this end and where it was this series name. So in case you're wondering, this spreadsheet is actually from the BLS website, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics for the United States. And they have this last tab here called Last Modified Date, which I decided to use. It would be a pretty good idea to use this as my total sheet because this, this as of date uh, is always helpful to see on any kind of summary that you produce. So using a 3D reference, this is actually very quick and very easy, and you can even use the fill handle to drag and fill. So here I have D5, which is January 2004, and as you can tell, under all of these series, D5 is January for 2004 for each different series. So that's the perfect application for a 3D reference. Let's get started here by typing the sum formula, because I want to add all of these together. And so I open that up, and typically what I would do, so let me just start with the start sheet, I think that makes the most sense, and D5. So what that does is it brings over the value from the start sheet on D5. It's easy enough to make this a three-dimensional reference by going right back up into the formula bar. And where it says start, add a colon, and then type end. So that's my end sheet. And so what I've done is I've called the start sheet to the end sheet, on D5, and I want that all to be uh, added together in that sum. So this is the value of every single sheet added together on January 2004. So you can actually expand that and go over like this. It continues to reference the start through the end sheet using you know this, this colon. That's the same as a cell reference, making it a range. So we have this now throughout the entire year of 2004. I can even drag that down and fill in years 2004 through 2013. There's another way that you can actually tell which how many sheets you have and that's using the sheets function which is new to 2013 so let me go ahead and type that in. So I'm not actually going to use the sum formula I'm just going to go ahead and type that reference in so I'll type in start colon which is through end exclamation point D5 and, and that right there. So you'll see that there are 25 sheets in that reference. This is actually taking 25 cells that are also uh, addressed as D5 in any of these sheets and adding them together. But one word of caution, the reason that I renamed this end to make it a little more clear is to show you this example. So now I want to take this and I want to move around some of these sheets. Maybe they're not uh, based on a series, maybe they're not uh, a hard sequence, but so I take this end and I move it all the way over to here. Well, now your values have changed and your number of sheets referenced have changed because you are still referencing sheets start through end, and here is your end. So these three sheets are no longer captured in this three dimensional reference. So always make sure that you know exactly what sheets are being referenced and what sheets are not. If you found this video helpful, if you like this video, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or send me a message and I'll get back to you. Thank you.